Today I thought we'd have a look at battery degradation, specifically as it relates to Teslas. One thing I can tell you is it is way windy at the moment. So unfortunately, no, dry, no flying drones today. When I first bought the car, it had, I think, something like 142 miles of typical range. Um, when, it was, uh, fully, when it was fully charged, like fully, fully 100% charged. Currently, it has 70%. hundred and sixty miles the reason I have it set to energy is because when I first bought the car the total range that it would do would drop quite a lot I'd had enough of seeing the the uh, the, the estimated range it would do at a sort of given percentage drop so I thought well, I'll just stick it in percentage mode and, and leave it that, that way and that way I don't have to worry about it and although it did drop to begin with it actually very quickly did what I would expect it to do, which is uh, tail off. You see, a battery when it degrades, lithium-ion battery in particular, but I think this is true for all batteries, is they degrade much quicker to begin with, and then that degradation slows down significantly. Um, you know what, I might even draw a graph and put it there. Yeah, I mean, I'm I look after my batteries, so I try not to charge them to 100% very often. I charge it to the lowest percentage that I can. And that sort of leads me onto some sort of very quick tips for people with electric cars or actually just lithium ion batteries in general actually. And that is that what you want to do is it, lithium ion batteries like to be in the middle. They like to be 50, 60% at all times. and the, the narrower that you make that band that you charge the car and, and discharges at, the better. So they don't work anything like nickel metal hydride batteries, I think, or, or lead acid batteries or nickel cadmium batteries. They have no memory effect. They just, it, it's not important. You definitely don't want to charge them up to full and then run them down to en empty. They hate that. That's not something that lithium ion batteries like at all. So you want to try and um i mean I, I charge it to 70 normally i normally recharge it somewhere around 45 50 percent and that way it's just using that little bit in the middle the only slightly annoying thing is that if you're only going to charge the car as much as you need to you need to have a rough idea as to how many miles you're planning on doing in a given day and you have to do a little bit of sort of maths a little bit of planning to sort of work out um what amounts of power you really need uh, and for example that's why um, yesterday I, I knew that if I use 50 miles out of the battery from 70% I would be absolutely fine and if I wanted to go somewhere else or if some emergency came up I would have plenty of power to go wherever I wanted and of course there's a supercharger you know just down the road which you know helps give me that sort of comfort that wherever I wanted to go it would only take me sort of 15 minutes at the supercharger to fix whatever that emergency problem is and I think that's like happened once when I woke up and decided I wanted to drive to Huddersfield and that's a great thing about having a car with a large battery and lots of range is that sort of middle bit of range for me sort of between 70 and 40 percent is the entire range of a Nissan Leaf um, certainly a first generation Nissan Leaf so <clears throat> and I've still obviously, you know, I could use the other 30-40%. It won't do any major damage to use it up to 100% and run it down to sort of 5-10% if you just do it once or twice. But you don't want to do that all the time because then what will happen is over time you will wear the battery out quicker than you need to. Just thought I'd share a quick bit of maths that I did now that I'm back in the house. If I've got 160 miles of range at 70% state of charge now, then that equates to a fully charged battery giving me 228 miles of range. Uh, when I first turned the car on, it said 242, I seem to remember. 
um, which would mean that I still have 94% of my original capacity after 42,000 miles. Um, a lot of people on the forums were getting sort of 245 when they first turned the car on. So if we assume 245 was the 100%, then that would be 93% remaining. So I've lost 7% um, of my range to do 42,000 miles. So if we assume that it was a straight line, which as I understand it, it shouldn't be, I, I should be able to get 120,000 miles out of that battery and still have 80% of the capacity remaining. Now, as it's not a straight line, I reckon there's a decent chance I might actually be able to get 200,000 miles out of that battery and still have 80% of the capacity remaining, which would be humongous. I think I worked out that the car would be almost free for me after I've done 200,000 miles. Something like that. That's, that's cool. Not that expensive a car after all then. Right, I'm going to just rely on the fact that so my wife is probably not going to be watching these. I really do want to have a go at skateboarding and vlogging at the same time. And I didn't get my chance yesterday. So I'm going to do it inside today. I would do it outside, but um, gravel. Just in case my wife does watch this video, however, what I am going to do is clean the wheels. And then once I've cleaned the wheels, I am also going to uh, hoover the floor. Look at that. Lovely and clean wheels. Honest. Jesus, let's have another go at that. I can see why everyone does this, it's actually quite fun. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to have a go at this another time. Ah. I should probably put, it, put the camera in auto exposure, shouldn't I? That would definitely make this easier. Way. <laughs> Fantastic. I got this skateboard 18 months ago in Santa Monica, going down the boardwalks around there and Venice Beach and stuff. It was good fun for that. These days I just keep it in the back of the car as a sort of an emergency last mile transport from the electrified parking space to the destination. The only slight thing though, is that since I've bought it, I have needed it zero times. So, it's mainly just for fun. I hope you've enjoyed today's uh, post. If you have, don't forget to um, hit the subscribe button um, and give it a thumbs up as well. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for another riveting episode of uh, my daily vlog. Bye.